Hey, Rally Vesties, welcome back to the Writing with Anna New podcast, where we talk about all that things writing in today's episode. It's a bit of an interesting one. I'm literally going to be telling you how I write my books and the best way to write a book, and I am going to have some arguments. I don't know. It's kind of a interesting topic that I just came across talking to my mom one day um, about, I think I just was spilling to her all my details. I don't think she was half listening, but um, she did say some something really interesting that kind of made me instigate. Yeah, made me want to talk about it. And that's basically plotting versus pantsering and why pantsering slash discovery writing is the best way to write your book. Um, And basically the thing that my mom said that really did just like, I'm like, yeah, yeah. Basically plotting is more of an analytical approach when writing or free writing or discovery writing is more of a creative process. So discovery writing is more creative and plotting is more pantsering. And I think in reflection, before I get into like the actual reasons why pantsering is better, um, and I guess this is one of the reasons, and is that it, and that is the fact that um, plotting. But then again, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Like it kind of depends on your brain. But my brain and my argument, and although this might be um, sort of I don't know individual and something that can't be argued because it's personal choice or the way that your brain works, but I literally do think that plotting is a waste of your creative energy and I was talking to Ashley, Ashley writes um, and she was telling me how she had a really good book idea and how she basically started to plot it but instantly like a couple of days plotting the book she just lost interest and she was like so scared that this book was just gonna go out of her mind because she just was too like unexcited for this book because of the analytical sort of oh I have to plot this scene and that dialogue, like that just seemed really boring to her when she told me that, no, I'm actually going to just pants at this book. And the reason for that is because I want to see how the book goes. And if I kind of plot the book, I already know what's going to happen. So it's not exciting, which is interesting because then I'm like, wait a second. Um, if you're writing your book and you kind of are writing the second draft, does that mean it's not as exciting? And although it's no, of course, it's it's a book, you're excited about it. It's more so just that initial spark of inspiration, which really does anchor your book and um, make it what it is. And I think in reflection of all those sorts of different points I just made, I think pantsering is the best way to go about writing your book, especially if you are... I don't know. I was going to say like a beginner writer, but that's probably not a good thing because I've been pantsering one of my books for three years now. So not three years, two years. And I'm like, okay, maybe I should stop talking. But no, listen, listen to me. I think my way of plotting, which I've discovered throughout two years of writing and struggle is, yeah, of course, by writing a zero draft. And if you guys don't know my writing process, I think I have a video on it on my YouTube channel. Definitely go check it out where I talk about my drafting process and how I start with draft zero, which is basically like a very simple book, if that makes sense. Like it's a book, like it's literally my book in short sentences. So it has none of the prose, it has none of the nice setting description or like very bad dialogue when that's when I write my first draft, which is the exciting part where I can make all those creative choices. So that in my sense is not a form of plotting. That in my sense is still a sort of um, instinctive uh, creative uh, process because of its spontaneous nature. And the reason why, of course, I want you guys to convert to discovery writing is because... um, of the ideas you get while writing on the seat. Is it off the seat of your pants? On the seat of your, I don't know, um, from the seat of your pants? Something about the pants, <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, you guys know what I mean. Um, basically when I get ideas, it's usually the best idea I've ever had. And I did a sh- I do share this quite a lot on my Instagram. Go follow me, it's underscore and a new, underscore and a new. Um, and yeah, I was talking about in one of my posts just how, I think it was a real I did, yeah, where I was basically like, this is your sign that if you get an idea, just to act upon it, because this is true for anything, including writing. So for example, my podcast, I literally one day was just like, why not start a podcast? I feel like starting a podcast. It was not a plan. I did not think about it. I just like in one day created the art, created my little, hey, Riley Besties, welcome back to Writing With Anna. 
that little intro, I just created my first video. I'm like, bam, okay, I'm going to start making those once a week. Like that was no plan. There was no plotting. There was no instigating thing. And it's this thing, like, I don't know, that sort of nature of instinctual, uh, like, urgency to do something creates the most amazing and thought-provoking and... You know, it's sort of like you're not writing yourself. It's like something like in your heart that if you take away all the plotting or the setting or the little things you need to kind of tick off, you come to the core of your idea and the core of that sort of instant idea. Does that make sense? So I think in that respect, it's really, really fun um, just writing. Of course, you get better at it. It's the same approach that I take that I take to poetry and if you guys haven't watched a lot of my poetry videos I do want to do another poetry video because one of my videos did really well um and I'm like oh my gosh people are like me writing poetry um and yeah it's basically how I write I get an idea usually I'm just like doing something I'm going to the bathroom I'm cleaning my room and I have this one line one line or one word and I just start writing I write that line or I write that word and words just flow I don't think about it. I don't plot per se, for example. I just write it. And that's exactly how I plot. Plot. <laughs> that's exactly how I write my first drafts, my zero drafts of all of my books. I have these sorts of little ideas, instinctual ideas that I just go, go, go. And that's what creates the book. And I think the best way to write your book is, of course, I mean, I'm arguing. I feel like a lawyer. I'm arguing. This is the way. I mean, I am in law school, but... um. People say that lawyers or pe like people in law school are very argumentative. I don't think I am. I think I'm quite agreeable, but don't believe me. I don't. I don't think I am when I think about it. Um, of course, exhibit A. This podcast. <laughs> Anyways, um, the one thing that I did really think that I think I'll end on because I don't want this podcast to be too long. Um, this is just a little thought provoking thing that I want you guys to. That's why I'm just gonna like. I don't want to talk it you're off but the last thing I want to say is the fact that plotting versus pantsering has a lot of a lot to do with your approach to writing if writing is a fun thing for you if it's a um yeah sort of a a less it's, it's a priority right but it's sort of a more freeing process of course you're gonna be more free with it when if you're you know wanting to be an author or if you're in if you have an agent or if you have this did you just hear that? Sorry, that was just a car that that scared me. What was I saying? Look, even cars outside wanna wanna destabilize my argument by interrupting me. Anyways, <laughs> what was I saying? So basically, and if you, yeah, if you have an an agent and you need to create a book and you need to continually be in the market and if you need to do this and this and this and this and that and make sure you have these tropes, you gotta plot them in. You gotta like make sure that the settings like really grabbing and really interesting and you need these characters that are very like generic but they work because people love them they love the the brooding bad boy like you know what I mean like that sort of plotting restrict like it restricts you because of the the sort of career you have in writing or at least um approach you have to writing so that's not to say that published authors can't be free or can't pursue writing in a way that's a lot more I don't know freeing and a lot more uh spontaneous but I think it's true. I think it's true. Like there's restrictions put upon you. So that's why I love just writing what I, whatever that I want. Like I, for example, Project O, which is the book I'm going to be querying. No, sorry. That literally like that sort of, I'm going to be querying Project O. It's like that sort of like thing has been like in my mind because I've been saying that so many times. I've stopped querying my book, by the way, if you haven't watched that video, that vlog, please do, because that was scary. I cry a lot in that video again. So don't watch it, but watch it. Um, what was I saying? So yeah, basically what I'm trying to say is that, yeah, Project O. Sorry, my mind is really crazy because that's how I get when I try to argue something or talk about something. I don't know how you come this far in this video without clicking off, but um, basically Project O, for example, it's an 1800s historical novella. I've never read anything like it. I don't think I'll ever get it published because I don't think people want to read historical fiction anymore. Uh, at least my sort of book. Uh, so I was kind of like, I'm just going to do it. And that's why like that sort of approach to writing where you're just writing for the sake of it and just to kind of do it and see how it goes. Like that's the most fun thing. Um, and again, with my 
YouTube channel, again, with my podcast, with my poetry as well. Oh, my gosh. The way that I used to, I mean, I'm a little bit better now because now I'm like, okay, I share too much in my poems on my Instagram. Um, I used to just write like exact, like before I even exported that little photo that I use as my post, I would just write it just like that. I wouldn't even like copy it. I wouldn't write it before and draft it up. I would just write it and then post it, write it and post it. And I feel like those are my best poems. Like that is so weird. So the same thing with my books, the books that came very instinctually, for example, Project O, which I was supposed to not write that book this year. I was not supposed to write Project O, but I did it. I did it when I was supposed to do something else, which is the, the, story of every writer um but yeah that's basically all I wanted to say in this video on um, this podcast just pantsering is better do pantsering and I think of course I need to distinguish pantsering from like literally like pantsering like from <laughs> air like no you need some idea of, of course but like those ideas should be still instinctual and not based on oh is this book going to be published or like oh blah 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 so again I think the main thing I'm trying to say is just write a book. Write a book that is for you and what works for you. And I think you should definitely try pantsering if you haven't already. But I hope some things kind of like connected with you in this episode. And yeah, let me know down below what you think about my... I don't know if this is an argument. It's just my me thinking out loud. Um, but anyways, I love you guys so, so much. I hope to see you in my next writing podcast. And of course, stay tuned for my... NaNoWriMo stuff that's going to be going on during this year I can't wait and I hope to also be on discord a lot more um when my exams are over so definitely stay tuned for that and it's all down below in my description on YouTube so check me out all my socials everything like that to keep updated but yeah I love you guys thank you so much for watching and listening to the end I love you with all my heart it really helps me out but yeah I love you and I hope to see you in my next writing episode bye everyone